What up, Loco Coco Squad? It's your girl, Rocka Blue, and I'm back, back, back in the cut with another lit, lit, lit reaction video. I was thinking if you said it out loud, so we here today. Because remember when I said that Kim came back with some bangers, and had she had a major label push or a big amplifier, that it would have been a 50-50 fair fight between her and Kim. Now, I'm not trying to rehash or bring up the old little Kim. Nicki Minaj beef. But at the end of the day, we gonna react to today, Black Friday, and we gonna actually dissect this thing because at the end of the day, the level of masterclassness in this diss track, somebody gotta say something. So we gonna say something today. Before I do that, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, share these videos with you care. We want the Loco Coco Squad to grow, so I appreciate it if you hit that subscribe and share. Make sure you're checking me out on Instagram. I always drop some good content over there, so I definitely love if you follow me over there as well. Make sure you check out the post notification shout out at the end of the video, because if you show me love, I'm showing you love right back in return. And if you haven't done so already, I'm gonna need you to get your life. Go over to larockablueapparel.rayjoin.com and get drip, drip, drippy for the summer. We got that good merch for you. But with that out the way, Loco Coco Squad. Are you ready? Get ready. Y'all get ready. Let's get to the video. First and foremost, if that's not the most or one of the most iconic intros in hip hop that Pharrell Munch get the up. Get the fuck up! Simon says, get the fuck up! At the end of the day, that song on its own was a banger. Now we got Kim on top of a banger about to go in and hit you with bars. Like, if you are not excited by hearing the intro alone, you don't love hip-hop. You don't love hip-hop, you don't love the culture of hip-hop, you don't love the battle aspect of hip-hop. You just a fan who just listen to beats and don't hear nothing. Listen, this right now, this is that, yo, you better get ready. And I am so ready. Who the fuck want war? FedEx beef straight to your front door. Like, what's up, bitch? Or, it'll be a murder scene. I'm turning Pink Friday to Friday the 13th. I you, little Kim clone clown. On all this buffoonery, the shit stops now. Today I got time, miss. Today I got time, miss. Oh, time for you to lay down. I'm sick of the fraud. I put hands on this bitch like a spa massage. Should I break out now or should I break out later? Should I break out now or should I break out later? She like, who the fuck work war? She like, I'll pull up. Easy. She like, I'll pull up. You want it, I'll pull up. At the end of the day, and Black Friday, this is her pulling up. She called you a little Kim clone clown. And if y'all, Barb's or whoever, don't get real, not mixtape Nikki. Mixtape mix Nikki is a whole nother thing. But when they started to commercially, commercially, commercially release Nikki to the masses, Nikki Minaj's whole M.O., was Lil' Kim from hardcore on up. And if you don't stop lying with yourselves, that's the reason why people have trouble listening to Barb's because y'all won't admit that. You're like, no, Nicki Minaj came and she changed the game. No, she didn't. All she did was do everything that Lil' Kim did except rap. As far as imagery and everything, that was all Lil' Kim. And the fact of the matter is, it was like, okay, the younger generation who didn't get to hear Little Kim, it was new to them. But for people 
who actually been around, everything she did was Little Kim. And facts are facts. You could be mad about that, but facts are facts. And then she like, yo, I'll put hands on you like a spar massage. That means she at your neck. She at your neck. That bar alone. Front flat, master flex. DJ Envy, everybody who didn't big up this diss track, shame on you. Because at the end of the day, not that I encourage stopping somebody's bag, but calling a spade a spade if this this track for those bars alone would have got pushed it'd have been harder for nikki to take over the way she did it would have been harder for nikki to take over the way she did and and that just shows you the power of a machine but at the end of the day already classic kim and like i said she's one of the goats who started that uh female rappers being sex kittens you know what i'm saying because before kim and foxy Female rappers was trying to ride as hard as the niggas. And they didn't want to be feminine. And they made it cool to do that. But Kim always lets you know, I can step out of that and I got these bars. And nobody can't say Big wrote this because when she released this, Big was long gone and she taking shots. We all know your last names, what got you your job. Used to put together gimmicks, something like a collage. Boy, if you don't. Since you're putting on the show, you gon' get the applause. Clap, clap, lift your frame like a fucking garage. Yeah. Yeah. This hood shit you and Drake ain't built for Period 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 Oh, this the shit the other bitch almost got killed for Yeah I'm still counting what hardcore generated Bet my shit keeps spinning like it's syndicated Did you hear what she said? Did you hear what she said? You ain't hear it? You didn't hear it? You didn't hear what she just said? Alright So then we just gonna, you know we just gonna have to bring it back because at the end of the day we not missing no bars right now not near one find a gun jet means forward you requested it so we rewind we all know your last names what got you your job used to put together gimmicks something like a collage <laughs> since you're putting on the show you gonna get the applause clap clap lift your frame like a fucking garage yeah what the hell did you just say this hood shit you and Drake ain't built for This the shit the other bitch almost got killed for Let them sleep on you I'm still counting what hardcore generated Bet my shit keeps spinning like it's syndicated What are we doing out here? What are we doing out here? She said, you only got what you got Cause you was fucking around in the game And that's a little known fact the Nikki tried to deny it, but everybody knows she was fucking. Because I'm from New York, and I was there when she was on the Smack DVDs and everything. She started out trying to be lesbian, and that didn't work. Then she changed to be riding on Remy Ma dick, and that didn't work. And then she got with Lil Wayne and then changed the whole thing. I'm glad she listened to his advice, but at the end of the day, these bars, fucked up hearing noise. This is, this is what these bars make me feel like right now. This is what these bars make me feel like right now. Because at the end of the day, she like... What hardcore doing right now, she's still getting checks. She's still getting checks. And I can believe it because hardcore was a classic album because nobody was coming out doing that femme fatale thing. And her and Foxy, like I said, they released right back to back. So they was in that lane together, dolo, by themselves. And she's still getting money off of that. So... Look, we can't lie that she eating, especially when this came out. She was still eating. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come from my hair. I don't care. Kim is killing this right now. Corny broad, I leave you bloody like you administrated. Your hot air ass bitch should have been deflated. I saw it. This ain't a championship fight. I've been the greatest. See, the fact is, what you doing, I did it. Lane trying to clone my style and run with it. Hell just a no, no. No. That's cool. I was the first one with it. Facts. Facts. You took Kim's style and you ran with it. All the imagery, little Kim, you ran with it. And this is not beat up on Nicki Minaj day. That's not what this is. This is what's called calling a spade a motherfucking spade. At the end of the day, you took her style and ran with it. And when people were saying that, I remember back in the day, y'all was supposed to collab with each other. But that didn't work out because you heard the rumblings and bumblings that everybody realized that she was copying Little Kim's... Man, Kim, 
Speak your truth, baby. Use a little Kim wannabe. You just hate to admit it. I'm the blueprint. You ain't nothing brand new. Check your posters and videos. You'll always be number two. <laughs> it's so funny because it's true. <laughs> yo, your whole shit. I was like, yo, isn't that the hardcore fold? Ain't that, ain't that the hardcore album cover exactly? At the end of the day, when you started doing the colorful hair, like you did the pinks and the reds, I was just like, wait. <laughs> it, 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 it's hilarious because it's true. Like at the end of the day, and you refuse to admit it, you don't like it. Like somebody had to be first. It had to be the first person to walk on the moon. It had to be the first person to try this hip hop thing. And Kim was first. And at the end of the day, you not really number two. <laughs> One or two is debatable. Like I said, Fox or Kim. You could put Fox first. You could put Kim first. But there was, we doing little Kim now, so we're going to put her number one. Kim was number one. Foxy Brown was number two. Trina was number three. Was her name Shauna or whatever who was on DTP? She was number four, but that's debatable. So because that's debatable, you came in at number four. Number four. So you was at number two. I seen him come, I seen him go, still I remain. Sweetie, you going on your 14th minute of fame. I'm over 10 years strong, still running the game. Cut the comparisons, I'm in a legendary lane. Really, nigga? Fighting for a spot, child, please. I'm solidified. With my hands tied, you couldn't beat me if you bitches try. I might be crying a little bit about this. Dear little Kim, as a member, of the original Beehive. I understand that you abdicated the throne and you gave it to Beyonce out of respect because she was the biggest bee at the time and the Beehive respected you for it. But as a member of the original Beehive, drop the damn album. Why are we pushing this back? The world needs Little Kim. Drop the album. Stop playing with us. I don't care. Whoever loved Little Kim, like I love Little Kim, spam her Instagram, spam her YouTube, shit, spam her Twitter, spam her spam. Drop the album. Drop the album. She put out Queen. She going on tour. You don't got to compete with a single soul if you drop the album within this window of time right now. All we would have to do is listen to the gems and the wisdom that you got, Kim. Drop the album, please. Drop the album. All right, all right, sorry. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Either you're high, sipping that shit weighing on. What? I get top dollar for whatever my name on. Go stick your head in a tornado, brainstorm. What? I drop bombs, flex, napalm. Black and yellow, we'll pull up in your ghetto. Giuseppe's when I step out, posted up in stilettos. Pussy so pink, like my kitty saying hell. Rewind and come back, selector. Hello, if I whistle, their pistol whip you in all five barrels. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Black and yellow. I pull up and. St Pussy so pink, it's saying. If I whistled it. And all five. The fact of the matter is the masses didn't hear this. They didn't hear this. Maybe a couple of hundred thousand heard it. And it wasn't because it wasn't good. There was politics at play. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? All that rah, rah, rah. Okay, we get it. Uh, okay, we get it. But it calm down to straight hardcore G shit. Hardcore G shit. As a female. Little Kim. Oh, all rise. I, I, I need the congregation. Matter of fact, 
we got to take a praise break. We got to praise the queen right now. I mean, right now, right now. <laughs> from Brooklyn, I'll be everywhere comfortably. Now who pumped you and told you to come romp with me? Really, nigga? You the type to run your mouth and then run for me. I'm popping off in your hood with no company. You ain't gonna do shit. Come on, Queens ain't showing you no love. I was there the other night popping bottles with the thug. Little Wayne and Baby told her to do that shit. What do you mean who pumped her up and told her to come romp with you? Little Wayne and Baby told her to do that shit at the end of the day because they knew the leverage that they had so they was like look we going we going to come for queen at the end of the day she ain't signed the bad boy no more she not on a label so she not going to have the impact as an independent that you going to have go so go ahead and say what you want to say but Kim like you say what you want to say but then you going to go run you going to go run because bottom line bottom line the shit that you say in records, Kim can actually pull off in the street. And like I said, nobody's glorifying violence, but we understand that the gangster element exists. And the gangster element existed and got respect because you had to have street credibility. Little Kim has street credibility. Who is your fan base? Nicki Minaj. White people, gay dudes, and niggas that want to smash. But on that real gangster, gangster, real gangster. Don't believe you. You need more people. You like Washington Heifer. I'm Benji. You got a buzz right now, and I had a frenzy. Boy, if you don't. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the fam. Cindy, you need to stop. You're not hot. You're a burning match. That means the end is near soon. Copy that. Bruh. Oh, I see. They really got you gas. Like, I'm a thing of the past. The grind don't stop. The work don't stop. Yes. Better slow down, dummy. You about to crash. Stink pussy, ho. Oh, I'm giving you a bath. The mama that in hand and I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> Who you think you're getting past? I see right through you. Your whole shit is made of glass. No! You're back. I'm a Brooklyn Feral bitch. Rap for my Feral bitch. Do it! It's never been the type that had beef and try to settle shit. That's it. Reaction over. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out! Six and a half hours later. <sighs> if it wasn't the truth, and if this shit wasn't going so hard, I'd be like, eh. But she telling the truth. She telling the whole truth. Really? I ride out till the wheels fall off. And my niggas squeeze till the last shell go off. Let them sleep on you. Fuck your whole team. All I see is a bunch of weirdos. Use the earhead, bitch. Scarecrow. I only had a brain. Ha, ain't nothing old but my money, bitch. Ha, this is grown liquid acids. Benjamin's my daddy, you young money bastard. I got some serious ladywood here. You and Diddy, sorry bunch of swagger jackers. I mothered you hoes. I should claim you on my income tax. So when you hear the bitches is my sons and whatever variation that Nikki put it in about being a mother to the game and birthing the other rappers, voila! Where did she get it from? Where did she get it from? She literally took Little Kim's bar and flipped it 10 million ways. Because you can't go. All right, challenge. Challenge. Play me one Nicki Minaj song where she doesn't use a variation of these bitches is my sons. Or that she birthed these bitches in rap. Put one song in the comments where Nicki Minaj don't do it. Challenge. Challenge. Prove me wrong. And when you realize that you can't, we gonna play homage and we gonna <laughs> clap it up for the queen. <laughs> clap it up for the queen. You literally took a bar and tried to make that shit your own and you've done it 10 different million ways. But look, okay.
okay. Y'all don't believe me. Y'all don't believe me. Bobby fish in the flesh. Talk about a great. So on my next move, I'm yelling, check me. Nigga! I smell a massacre. I'm Charles Manson, you don't stand a chance with her. Jeffy Diamond, you looking like lunch to me. About to kill all you bitches like Ted Bundy. Leave your whole head red like Peg Bundy. Yo. That's right. Eat your food. Eat your food. She is cleaning her plate. She is cleaning her plate. She said, I'm at the buffet. I didn't come to play with you bitches. I'm about to eat my food. It's just sad. It's just sad that this still holds up. There are some Nicki Minaj songs that I used to love, but I can't listen to them right now. Like, like it, they don't hold up. They, not, they were hits, but they were not classics. And that's the difference between Lil' Kim and Nicki Minaj. Like I said, I'm not trying to bring this beat back up. For all intents and purposes, popularity-wise, Nicki won. But like I said, she only won because she had a machine pushing her. Kim was independent at the time. And the label and her team drowned out what Kim was doing. And that was a masterful move. It was a masterful, masterful move. But what's always going to be the difference between little Kim and Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj can make hits. Little Kim made classic hits. Classics that hold up. You can go into a club right now and hear. You got it going on. The club going to lose it. The club going to lose it. Right now. In 2019. So I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Hilarious. Thanks for all the laughs, you garbage. So I'm taking out the trash. You shit on me? Come on, baby girl. Ain't enough ass shots in the world. Bro, oh. you're a nuisance. You probably still my new shit, but you can never fuck with me, so chuck it up, deuces. All around the world, I ball like a ball team. I stack chips. Call me Mrs. Rothstein. Tricks is for kids, silly rabbit. You're my offspring. Did you hear it again? Did you hear it again? Tricks is for kids. You're my offspring. Bitches is my sons. It's so good. It makes my eyes hurt. It makes my eyes hurt. At the end of the day, the fact that you could be so clocked. You could be so clocked. You can't get a Nicki Minaj if there's no Lil' Kim. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry I stopped it. I just, I need, I just needed to reiterate a point but I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry kim more anticipated than a lebron ring ron 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 ring all right local coco squad so that was little kim black friday the queen was still on the throne to me my personal opinion the queen was still on her throne then at the end of the day nothing nikki put out after that literally top this it's just that she had a team. That's my personal feeling. If you disagree with me or agree with me, let me know down in the comments below. I definitely want to hear your input. And, you know, let me know if, uh, if this is something that you want. Uh, diss tracks and stuff like that. Represent that by attacking that like button. And, again, share these videos if you care. Today's post notification shout-out goes to Dominique Rael. Thank you so much for becoming part of the Loco Coco squad. Loco Coco gang. Gang. If you want to be part of the local Coco Gang, local Coco Squad, let me know that you subscribe with your post notifications on down in the comments below. Again, hit me up on Instagram. The local Coco Fam, you know how I do until the next video. Peace. Mm-hmm.